Maintaining consistency and still being at the top of your game. That's what it's about. It's and right. not getting injured. <laughs> well, I blame you, actually, because Evan, you've got a dodgy shoulder. My granddad's got a dodgy ankle. So I've, obviously it's in the oh, genes. Not that. <laughs> so we are at Ashington Creek Club. I would spend most of my Saturdays here with my dad. I grew up through the junior section then on adult cricket, so very special place. There'll be lots and lots of memories throughout that time. Did you ever imagine that I would play for England? No, I don't know who does. I don't think anybody does. I never saw it coming to this. I mean, the World Cup final, winning the Ashes. But for me, there's other occasions where it's not a wicket that's going to suit you, but you run in hard and you bend your back in and you keep trying. They're the ones for me where I'm most proud. Yeah. That never see a die attitude and not wanting to give up. I probably that, got that from you though, with the environment. I mean, here, people of the area, the community, I agree you with and that, mom, yeah. so I probably got that from all you. Yeah, I agree with that. It's the rain, it's not the tears, it's the rain. <laughs> So the reason we're here today is to talk about prostate cancer. One in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer and one in four black men, which is shocking stats really when you think about it. The important thing to check is obviously, have you had a family history of it? And also, I know you say you're still in your, coming into your prime now, but guys over 50, you know, if there's bladder issues or, or any sort of doubt there, go and get yourself checked. Prostate Cancer UK's website, they've got a 30 second checker to see whether they're liable for this. So it's dead easy. I want everybody to have a go at that. Of course, someone else that this is affected is Bob Willis. Obviously, England legend, fast bowler, someone you know who I've seen plenty of tapes of as a fast bowler myself, wanting to be like him. I haven't quite got the big hair. I was very sad to hear about his passing, but out of that has come the Bob Willis Fund. It's supporting Prostate Cancer UK, and those funds will go towards vital research. They did blue for Bob at Edge Baston. I had to try and do his bowling action um, to help raise funds, and it was a, you know great to see Sea of Blue in the in the crowd and everybody support him because he's such an iconic figure. So how do you think sport can play a role in all of this? Conversations are so important and vital to beat prostate cancer. You make great friends through sport, in cricket especially, you're in the dressing room. You've got all those other guys who have your back on the field, and I'm sure they'd have your back off the field as well. Men don't like doing that. They talk about things like that, it's too personal. But actually you've got to get beyond that and just have a simple open conversation with friends or family or someone trust. you can trust exactly um, is definitely the way forward and the way to beat this. Yeah, it's vitally important that people keep speaking. <laughs>